So this is the beginning of my sweet potato banana oatmeal. I uh, boiled some ch um, chopped sweet potatoes uh, until they were softened and now I added a ripe banana. I'm using a banana masher, I'm going to create the base for my oatmeal or oat bran. Now you can add um, quin cooked quinoa to this, you can add, you can make it um, millet breakfast, you can combine grains like millet and oatmeal um, and oat bran. You can just do oat bran, um, rolled oats. I also added some coconut oil and some cinnamon. Uh, coconut sugar, palm sugar is really great to add um, if you want more sweetness. Sometimes this, this is enough. Um, sometimes the banana is not ripe enough, but that's why you want to have really ripe bananas when you do this. Not super ripe, like, but just like I can smell the sweetness, so that's when you know it's really good. Um, and you can add some uh, raisins to this or chopped dates and let them simmer with um, some almond milk or um, rice milk, oat milk, hemp milk. Um, preferably homemade. Um, so let's see, I'm now adding my some liquid to it to help get it a little bit softer and smoother. And again, you can add um, some chia seed jelly, um, some walnuts at the end, some chia seeds, um, hemp seeds. So it's like pretty much a blank slate, but the base of all of the oatmeals that I make is a ripe banana mashed with a banana. Um, or a potato masher because it's it's it creates such a nice sweetness when you heat it up the banana with some almond milk it's it smells like the most gentle sweetness you've ever smelled like it's not strong obnoxious sugar it's like just a welcoming sweetness that's delicious so there we go so I'm just gonna um, add a little bit more milk and we're gonna grab some almond butter. You can also add some um, mashed, you also could boil some um, chopped apples with a few potatoes, and then that could be your base in there with the banana as well. It's like you get three fruits and vegetables in your breakfast and you didn't even know because it's all mashed and smooth and delicious. Get a spoon, we're gonna add the almond butter. We're gonna add some more cinnamon. I'm gonna add the oat bran. So now this is what you have next: all the other ingredients: cinnamon, almond butter, um, and the oat bran. Let's stir it up. So again, you can use any grain that you like in here. Um, I've also used um, softened um, butternut squash and mashed it up, so it's just like you do with the um, sweet potato. Um, you can also add like some softened beets and make it like a beet berry, banana um, oatmeal. Um, one of my favorites is like a peanut butter and jelly version of this. So um, again, have that banana base. You can even add some softened apple for that one. Um, scoop of peanut butter, scoop of jelly, cinnamon. Um, and of course, you can always add dark chocolate to any of these, a piece of dark chocolate. So I'm just gonna mash it up a little bit more. But this is pretty much it, so at this point you would um, let it cook a little longer, you know, fix the seasonings a little bit. If you wanted to add some powdered ginger, 
some coconut palm sugar, a drop of maple syrup. But that's pretty much the oatmeal at this point. Again, it's a blank slate. Add your nuts, add your um, berries. A um, little bit more coconut oil if you want some more, or like earth balance for some creaminess. Um, yeah, top with your favorite toppings, and that's pretty much your base. And I did cook sweet potatoes with the skins on it, but you can't even find a skin after it's been mashed like this. So let's give it a taste. Mm -hmm. So good. This does need a little bit extra sweetness. Um, Cause I did add a lot of oat bran and sweet potatoes, but with some more cinnamon and some more almond butter, I would say that's good to go. Mm. You guys, good cooking is so easy and fun. Just use the ingredients that or growing from the ground. And yeah, it's pretty easy. Okay, that's love. Bye.